meeting that has three of those members here of the Cushionet Bicycle and Pedestrian Safety Committee. And my name is Lori Bates. I'm Cheryl Hall. Eric James. And my name is Sandra Medeiros um, with the South Coast Bikeway Alliance. I'm here just for support. Yes. Okay, so the first thing we were going to talk about was... We need to identify a chair. A chair, yeah. Okay. So, you know, whoever, that, whoever we think should be that person to just sort of drive us, right? So. Yeah, I guess that's going to be mm -hmm. me. It can be, yeah. Unless you... No, you I, don't, I definitely don't want it. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. I'll volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. Lori, good I for agree you. With that. Okay. Right. Congratulations, kid. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At least we got three. We need more people. Right. Right. Okay. So That's right, Lori. Next You're going. thing. Next thing is uh, this, I guess, right? Well, that is uh, what's stated in your, I, I believe, existing. your last master plan from yeah. 2008. Right. So that was a, a, mm -hmm. just a reference to your bicycle and pedestrian access and cushion it. Okay. It's quite dated. Yeah. So the question becomes, do we spend time updating it? Or is, you know, if what's there, at least from our perspective, recommending what, what should be updated? Or, you know, I know that the last time that we were, we didn't have a forum last time, so we didn't have a formal meeting, but we did talk a little bit about the state section um, along Main, South Main Street, that type of thing, because that, I think, impacts where we want to put our focus as mm -hmm. far as the next piece of it. Because I think we all came in sort of assuming that we would focus on South Main as the main strip through the mm -hmm. city, but that's actually state, state property. Yeah. And they're at, uh, my understanding is they're actually working on that. I don't know when it'll happen, but it's a part of their planning. Mass DRT it is working on a project to add um, full pedestrian and bike accommodations on South Main Street. Um, I, I can possibly pull up the project here um, on their site. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, that would be a, a state run, but it doesn't mean you can't have some input yeah. as to what it looks like. Okay. Uh, you can send comments, you can attend their meetings. There, a lot of them are virtual, but they, mm -hmm. they will come to town too to, to discuss things. They may have already had meetings you might be able to access, um, and you can send your comments in. So if the Bicycle and Pedestrian Safety Committee um, wants something added, amended, or, you know, or if you have a safety concern, um, that would be the time to do it while it's still in the planning stage. Uh, there's a 25% design. Um, portion and that's a good time to get in early within that first 25 um, percent. Mm. So do we know where they're at in this process? Well, I, I can try to, to, to look it, it up. Um, is that the road for the quarry? Is that where the that, quarry that's is? So yeah. The, yeah, so I all the way on the Fairhaven line? Right down, yeah. From, from, from me, from the city town hall? Yes. Oh, that way. But okay. I think, if, I, if my understanding is, it would actually start down Main Street to the New Bedford line, up and then around, mm -hmm. or the other way, I'm not sure. But it, it's a little bit more than just South Main. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I think, I, I like the idea that we could potentially have a voice, right? Right. Um, All right, this is not the one. All right, this is actually the um, Hamlin Street Bridge. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which... Uh, you know, that might be something else you look at, too, if they redo Hamlin Street, um, if there's some way to improve uh, bike and ped on there. Um, but let me, let, let me yeah, take a minute and see if I can get right? to the project site. Yeah. Mm. It's a damn right, that's a, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. no, it's road and right trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very narrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Usually I can search. Here we go. Question. Anything? Hello, uh, six one two six one one. A cushion at reconstruction of South Main Street from Main Street to Alden Road, which is the Fairhaven yep. uh, intersection. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. yep. Roadway. Roadway reconstruction, um, sidewalks and curbing. It's in design. So that means so that's yeah. where we want our input yeah. right, to try. Okay. So um, twelve point 
seven million dollar project. Uh, corridor update upgrades along South Main Street from Main Street to Alden Road. Improvements are expected to be pavement upgrades, sidewalk reconstruction, installation, and or shared use path installation. So right there you can request, not and or, we want yes. shared <laughs> use path. Yeah. And Math, Mass DOT is pretty committed to uh, uh, including shared use paths in their projects. Uh, drainage upgrades, landscaping, lighting, upgraded pavement markings and signage as well as incidental work is also proposed. Um, let's see if it's on the TIP funding. It's on, it's in the tip for 2024 to 2028. That's transportation infrastructure mm -hmm. program. Uh, there's no comments here. Yeah, so it, it's very young. I would say you yeah, should just started, watch right. that and see what you can um, how you can chime in on that. You can reach out to Mass uh, DOT District 5 um, and ask questions there. Mm -hmm. okay. And then a additional uh, ideas were to, well, to continue that, I, I don't know if north of that is um, state run also. I think so I, I believe, and we'd have to clarify, that I believe it's state run all the way out to Rochester, right, to 105? To 105, yes. I believe so. That's all state. So so that section, we like, you know, we might be able to have input, but I don't know that we'd be able to sort of make actual decisions, right, right. on that. Probably. Yeah, you yeah. can speak with SERPED. SERPED mm -hmm. is willing to meet with you again, or um, mm -hmm. they, they can speak to the town for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. But other roads that you could possibly concentrate on, it's uh, Middle Road. I can yeah. say Middle Road, well I can also think, they just paved Mattapoiset Road and I know you can do a lot with just paint because I've seen it done other places. <laughs> so, you know, even if they, it, I don't know, and uh, they just need to slow, tra I, my thing, uh, riding in, I ride around the back roads, they need to slow the traffic down. And even in, I have a few things. If somebody that was trying to cross over there in front of the town hall where there's a crosswalk, mm -hmm. people don't stop. That's another problem. Why don't they put speed bumps? Do people like that? No. <laughs> but we'll slow enough. them down. That's slow okay. enough. Okay. I know, I know the town is um, supposed to be installing some the, the rapid flashing, right. the, the flashing pedestrian beacons so you mm -hmm. can push the button. It doesn't stop traffic, but it tells the traffic that there's somebody there. There's going a button. I feel like there's there a one, button like there already. I, yeah. I feel like there is one there now over at the church. There is. There is. Yeah. Yeah. One. But people need to use it, right? If yeah. they don't use it, then it's no, not going to flash. I heard mm -hmm. somebody that definitely happened more than once that people don't, didn't stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think so. And, and that was part of the discussion for me was if you're going down Slocum to Tarpon Hill, whichever, right down the bottom there, that the, the town put in a, a, a crosswalk. Flash of you. And I am convinced that it's not in the appropriate spot. And I know I, I went back and forth with Bob Hinckley, I went back and forth with folks from the town because they say it's the most visible spot. Mm -hmm. You're on bicycle, I'm running. As a runner, it is not the most visible spot because it's right on that. It's on the curve. On the curve. And the one at the church is just about the same thing. It's just coming around that curve. It's on a huge mm -hmm. curve. But it's still a curve. Mm -hmm. So you kind of come around that curve, and all of a sudden there's a yeah, this crosswalk. Coming, I was thinking coming from the stop sign across. Sure, but coming, but from coming the, the other, other side, way, yeah. you're, you're, you know what I mean. So, so I, I, I would like to spend some time assessing that. Like, how was that decision made? From what perspective? Because yeah. those are two that, to me, as the as the pedestrian, mm -hmm. they don't feel very visible, right? Mm -hmm. So, so I'm not sure how that decision's made, um, but. To your point, yeah. right? Because if it's not yeah. a visible spot, people aren't going to stop because it'll be too late. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. yeah. so I guess uh, a good thing to, to start with would be to set up what your goals are for mm -hmm. this committee, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you could post them on the your page on the website, yeah. and also to recruit two more members. Yeah. Um, so you have a full committee. Do we have a website? Well, you know, the town. You have a project. Oh, the town's website? You, 
Uh, well, that, I don't right? know if you have a, an official page yet, so that would be something to ask the town. Okay. To a step, All right. um, but you may. I did print out, you know, we talked, we were talking about, I don't know if I still have it. Oh yeah, mission statement, I got a mission statement here that was, that was from somebody somebody else, but basically that's, that's what it is. You know, there's a lot of, if you go yeah. online. Yep. So you do have a page. Oh my God, look call. at that, we it, have a page. It already needs updating. <laughs> wow. Adam, uh, Adam uh, stepped up. Oh, my God. Um, it has the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, they got that picture. Cool. Yes, it has the ghost Oh, light, that's a nice picture. Which yeah. is yeah. what um, prompted this uh, Discussion. committee. Yeah. 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 And, um, awesome. So, so yeah. we should find out, so if we want things posted there or edits made because it's not up to date, I'm assuming that has to go through the clerk's office or like, or do we end up getting access to it to do it ourselves? Like, we have to figure out how that works as well. Yeah. Right. Updates those. Definitely a question to need to ask yep. the town, either yep. the Board of Selectmen's office or mm -hmm. uh, the town. I'll board. go. I'll, I'll go in tomorrow and talk to the uh, secretary, Cindy. Yeah. Sydney. Sydney. Yes. Right. Yeah, you can ask her. Uh, so I know her. I'll go in and ask her about this. Mm -hmm. And update it. Update it. <laughs> yep. And yep. Uh, what mm -hmm. else? And this is where you would store your um, agendas with the post statement here and everything. Yep. And yeah. How do we post that? And You'd send them to her. Yeah, this yeah. You send them any probably send, send them, them an email them. and they'll post it. Mm -hmm. The girls. Yeah. The clerks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we could pretty much use that because we don't have uh, there may be something under that too if you'll do you know it says it? pathways but that doesn't yeah, mean it's off uh, is it yeah. something like that you know oh he already has mm -hmm. goals too yeah well that was that was just from <laughs> that somebody was that's from, from, that was probably from fair yeah. havens yeah. i went to waste yeah. it's where dartmouth it from? i think because i yeah. sent it to the yeah. three yeah. of you yeah we had a couple yeah <laughs> just to give you an idea i'm already plagiarizing uh, There's only so many ways you can say make the streets clean. Well, that's right. right that's right. right. Why well, yeah, spend a lot of time? Unless you go to Mass. Right, don't recreate the wheel if you. If, if you, you go to Mass Bikes webpage and their oh. their mission yeah. statement is about uh, five pages. Yeah. You can use some most of that. Yeah. Not the part, this is is this what he has? Is that what he has there? Yep. Yeah. Is that what I printed out then? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Just give us an idea. So, can I take these and I can just one of the questions that I have. Yeah. 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 I'll do that and I can send it to them to put up on the website. Yeah, review well, it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, that was yeah. my question. I'll so, I'm, I wonder time. if, like, so as far as like recording and, and oh, yeah. official yeah. meetings and that type of thing, um, are we able to like email that to each other and give each other feedback, or does it all have to occur in the meeting? Do you know? Well, that would have come with your open meeting law. Um, That's what yes. right. So, because if you had an executive session or something like that, versus subcommittees, subcommittees don't have. So it's it's a, with only three of us, it's a little bit of a right. yeah. oddity. But because we we need to talk about it and agree to the wording, change things. Yeah. To well, I'll, 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 next time we come, we meet. I'll, we'll decide. Okay. Decide. You can all review but it. I, yeah. I'll That's what I mean. I can, can share information. I'll ask Pam on it. Tomorrow. That's, that was my yeah. point. Like we can actually read it so that we can come prepared. Okay. Right. But I can find out from Pam maybe what tomorrow we, if we can email that like you just yep. asked. Yep. And right. uh, to email the document. If document. so, then I'll, I'll email you the, the updated version okay. before next meeting. <laughs> okay. If not, yeah. then okay. I'll wait for the next meeting. And do it there. Yeah. Okay. Put it all yeah, in a Google Doc can. and you can comment on it. Right. And then yeah. Right. Come here and discuss it some more. And right. And then vote on it. And, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. 
right. So, so we've got working on the goals, the yeah. mission, mission goals. Get your committee, <laughs> the we're website. Working a bit more to find out what's happening with the state junk, right? Mm -hmm. To see mm -hmm. where they're at. And yeah. Yep. What kind of a voice we can have there? What kind of feedback we can give them? Livable streets. Have you done any of their bike rides? I meant to be want to go on the first Saturday of the month. They mm -hmm. have a group ride. They have one coming up this April sixth. To where though? They just uh, had the one they rode to Rescue Cafe. Right. They didn't go. Uh, oh yeah, I know. I have it. It's kind of cold, and it, it seems like it's. All, I'm always doing something when they have the little rides. That's with uh, John Sullivan. Is that? Yes. John Sullivan? Miles. Yes, Miles. but. Um, Will Gardner's leading it now. Oh, Will Gardner, okay. And he's doing some great things over there. He's actually going to do um, some test uh, improvements to intersections, uh, temporary, you know, to get a feel for like a pilot. Oh, like, like, like a pilot. 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 Yep. Yeah. pilot. Like they did at the at the fork over there, where the the square, right? That's one. Benoit Square. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they, they rode their bikes there yeah, I don't know, last Saturday or Saturday before um, for their monthly ride. And they checked out right in front of the Bijou in Benoit Square. They put some uh, additional striping and um, they changed the layout, not the Livable Streets Committee themselves, but the town. Um, changed the road mm -hmm. width, the mm -hmm. travel lanes, mm -hmm. the direction, so it was mm -hmm. safer. So you have a shorter crossing distance for the pedestrians, yeah. and the cars know which way to go. It's not right, so confusing. Right, because before it was a free-for-all. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> oh, I saw, I saw, the, I saw them setting up, and it was the state troopers were there. So is that a state? Is that well, a that might just be who did the detail. The detail, but that was the two yeah. stadies that were there, state yeah. troopers were there, directed traffic. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah, that could just be who got the details. Yeah. If there was no one available, sometimes they go. Oh, to the from uh, from the yeah. town. Yeah. This is a, a sh very yeah. concise mission statement too. You there can look is. at for comparison. Mm -hmm. So you can take a few and and, and blend them. Well, yes, blend what, them what, you, what your focus is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because we don't have a path going through the town like Fairhaven, Mattapoint, and all those people. Do. So Correct. that's different, yeah. Yeah, you don't yeah. have the South Coast Bikeway. However, you that's are, right. Right. Um, it is intended that you will connect right. with your pathways mm -hmm. heading right. south and connect with New Bedford right. um, as a adjacent and connecting path mm -hmm. so that you could ride safely perhaps um, to the train station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that's not too far from here. No, that isn't. No. Um, they have a lot of nice, I didn't know they had all that on their website. Mm -hmm. they, they also have, with the benefit of the um, protected pathway, they do a, a very active bike bus. I was so going to ask, just going to ask you that. We can do a bike bus too, right, eventually? Eventually, the students could ride to school by bike if you had safe accommodations on Middle Road. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. Not everyone, but uh, you know, if it was People a half mile that. in each direction or a mile mm -hmm. in each direction, mm -hmm. that would you know, be, go a long way to get the congestion away from the school, get some your energy out in the morning yeah. and exercise. Um, the kids, they're just so happy to be on their bikes. Uh, going to and from. So, yeah, they do it every Friday morning, um, and they're doing it year round. So they only miss wow. that one snowstorm day that I know of. Um, so, they, they go the entire way by the bike path? No, well, Just they about. start at Atlas Tack, which is yep. not far from the beginning of the bike path. Yep. Um, yep. So, people meet there, and then they ride on the bike path. And they go through the parking lot at Ricardi's, and then yeah. they ride along the sidewalk. And that oh, sidewalk, the right there. correct? Mm -hmm. That sidewalk from David Drown Boulevard on Sconnecticut Neck to the school is in the middle of a project. They're going to add a 10-foot shared-use path. So right now it's a very narrow. Yeah. Lucky if it's four feet, and some of it I think was dirt when I rode over it mm -hmm. with them recently. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be much safer mm -hmm. for them. Good. And they also um, reduce uh, the lanes there when you're heading north on Scotty Neck. You can't pass 
So you that's not permanent though, that's only in the summer. In the winter they take those cones out. The cones out. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to, I, I think it's supposed to be a permanent solution eventually. It would be, I mean, I thought so it would really be, right? Because it, it stopped people from, from going around. All around, from right? Going around. trying to cross over. Right. But I noticed that at the end of the summer, maybe maybe after Labor Day, I'm not exactly sure when, mm -hmm. it all came down. Mm -hmm. And then it came back up again in, 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 in the spring. The new season. Yeah. So I don't know if that's got to do with plowing, you know, potentially or whatever. Right. But, okay, we'll get for that. Right. Some maybe. I mean, that's an assumption on my part. But And yeah. I was thinking, I was there recently, I, I was thinking it was the road might be striped. Even though the things aren't there, the bullets, it still might be striped. I think there might be like one cone thing there now, mm -hmm. whatever that's called. But but you're right. I mean, there's something there. Right. The road but they had completely have... taken it out for a while, so maybe it's slowly becoming a permanent picture. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Like with paint, like uh, Lori had said earlier. Right. right. You can do a lot yeah. with paint, but yeah. you know, the, the uprights help even more. But if you yeah. start, with paint. Yeah. 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 I'd like to see that's Charlie. a good idea. Showers on a lot of these roads. What is it? I said it'd be nice to have them paint those some of those showers on some of these roads. Just that, it's good. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, you can also look to Mass Mass DOT uh, and and contact the town to see if they've received um, the four foot passing um, That's right, yeah. signs. So There's one in front new, of my house. New so laws. Mm -hmm. If it's, it's on a state road, which that the is, the road. state, the state yep. is putting up yep. theirs, but the town can add their own. The town yep. needs to request uh, mm -hmm. from the state, if they haven't already, to have so many yeah, signs. signs. And then it's up to the DPW usually for them to put it up. But it, you could have input as to where they're placed. Okay. So yeah, I don't you know, know if I'm, they're anywhere other than you're a little South Main. You see them there. Yep, right. Yep. And that's, that, that's a state property. So that's, that's why they're there. That's yeah. why they're there. So. Okay, we'll have, to, we'll have to see if they're anywhere else and then yeah. talk about where we think it would be a good idea to recommend mm -hmm. to you could, get more. You could call DPW and see if you know they are aware if they ordered them or received them. Um, and you could certainly okay. ask the town hall. And we should try to get the street sweeping out. Mm -hmm. uh, to pick up all the litter and all the gravel from all from this from the winter and all the sand mm -hmm. uh, because if you're doing any walking now or running now you know that yeah, there's, they do that there's a year. lot of debris out there. Don't they do that every yeah. year? Especially this year. Too well years. they have done in the past they do have a street sweeper. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't know how far it goes because where I am it goes from PJ Keating sort of both sides because of PJ Keating. Yeah. Well they used to they used to have them out there all the time. Right. Well, they do for PJ Keating when they're open, right? But I don't know about the rest of the town. Well, the town has one, and a couple of years ago, a couple of people on Slocum Street complained about all the gravel that was at the mm -hmm. bottom of the road. Mm -hmm. We have the motorcyclists coming in mm -hmm. from Tyler's Drive and River 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 Street, mm -hmm. and we have all that debris out there. Right. So they did send them. I actually, I was on my porch. I couldn't believe it. I seen one coming down the street. <laughs> took pictures of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't know we had one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it was a fabulous thing, so we should definitely talk to the town yeah. about sending that thing out. Yeah. I don't know if they have yeah, the employees for it, right. but even, even mm -hmm. along here, yeah. you know. If yeah, we, the main thoroughways is nothing else. Yes, the main, I mean, yeah. along here, if the kid, we do ever get these kids riding the bicycles in the morning, mm -hmm. they should be all cleaned up yeah. before we do that. A lot of people walk nice lane. I know mm -hmm. half of that is New Bedford, but a, a sign so on Nice Lane at either end would be great. That's, that's narrow. Yeah. I used to come, when I lived in Saskatchewan and I, I was working in the post office over here in the Cushionet, I used to come down that road flying. It was a, what a nice, what a nice road from Cushion Avenue all the way down. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful road. That but was, it's narrow. It's narrow, but that was years ago. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no helmet, no nothing. Back in those days. On a bicycle. Oh, yeah. 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 But it's it's definitely a narrow street, so you know, yeah. 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 I mean, if we, if we think about, like, so we're working on our mission, working on our goals, mm -hmm. and then after that, identifying where we think our efforts should be, right? Middle Road, yes. Nice yes. Lane. Like, what are the main sort of mm -hmm. roads that connect? 
the town. Mm -hmm. You know, Nye's connects us to New Bedford, mm -hmm. Slocum connects us to New Bedford, although that's mm -hmm. probably state. But right, and then and then we can determine what what if anything we can do about those roads. Right, right. and we can you know prioritize what we want to do. We'll, you know, right. don't start up. Right. Take on too much at one time. Let's take one area. We'll right. Work on that. And see what we can do. Right. right. It's not a committed. doable project. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. something small. Right. Yes. Start something out small. with, you know, you've got a bunch of little things here. A little chunk. The website, the vulnerable mm -hmm. road user mm -hmm. laws, uh, signs. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So smaller, easy, easier. Right. Yeah. Smaller Low tasks hanging to get us going. Yeah. Yeah. Going, and then we have to, right. we have to right. accept. Right. Then you, right. Then we start moving forward. Yep. I want to see if, going back, oh, I missed it. I wanted to see. The, um, uh, if there were other projects in the that we looked over. Hamlet's already in process, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, you mentioned what, um, what the plan is for it anyway when they do pay you. Know, maybe they have that. Yeah, because that, that's a two year, is it a two year project that they the year? What's that? Oh, at least two, I two, think. Two, right? Yeah. yeah. I think at least two. Yeah. yeah. I somebody had an aerial view of the, of the works. Let's see what oh, they've been doing. Prince Oak Avenue right there. Is that, is that us? Mm hmm We did to work on South Main Street from Main Street to Pembroke. You service it. Oh, complete? Yeah, some of those are complete. What was the road you just said going to New Bedford, the one that... Slocum. 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 Yeah, I think they're working on that already, Slocum. Well, they've been Street. down there. They've been down there. Uh, the engineers have been down there. Sidewalks, but I don't see that here, so... I that was supposed to be infrastructure money. Oh, uh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, bridge, bridge replacement, Slocum Street to Wood Street. That was complete, but I think they're doing um, further work on either side of the bridge. We're supposed to be putting new pipes in, resurfacing, putting in sidewalks. Because mm -hmm. if you see us, we don't have, basically have no, we don't have sidewalks. You know, when you're walking yeah. in the street, you know, because right. oh, you know, yeah. yeah. there's no curves. The car can come. I've right. seen them. Right. I've seen the cars go right off the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we're in a parking lot of the old Titleist building, right. and they crash into the building. Right. Right. So if you happen to be walking, right. yeah. you know, I try not to walk. With the cars coming back and back on me. No, I always face traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So you see you jump out of the way anyway. Mm -hmm. And I've had to do it. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what, our last informal meeting, we had John from Serpent here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan Gray, and he gave you this yeah. uh, community questions. So transportation, you go over and, and see how you would answer those for your time, um, and then maybe send send it to him. Share it with yeah, you, uh, that was very helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And share it with uh, Mr. Kelly. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. Mr. Kelly received a copy of this too. So Serpent wants Serpent has so many dollars or hours to spend with each community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so if if you have concerns, um, you can ask Mr. Kelly on the select board. Mm -hmm. You know, is this something that Serpent can assist us with? Is this from the okay. young man that was here last, yes. last time? Yeah. Yeah. Something like what we just were talking about. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want us to fill you want us to fill the Phillies out basically or? Well that's what Jonathan uh, Gray at, at Circuit was asking uh, Mr. Kelly and then the bike pedestrian committee. Mm -hmm. To look at these questions, uh, transportation, are there locations where you have safety concerns? Are there specific locations that experience more than average number of crashes? Are there any specific areas in city town that regularly experience congestion? You know, s signals, bottlenecks, commuting school time, regular congestion. Mm -hmm. Does your city or town have an issue with large trucks or other freight vehicles causing traffic, backups, crashes? Uh, are there roads within your city or town you avoid using due to their pavement condition? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever experienced any type of conflict due to the road's pavement condition? Example, uh, collisions, near misses, frequent stopping, repairs due to wear and tear. Are there locations you would like to see made priority areas for walking or bicycling? 
So mm -hmm. do you want to see long distance pathways through Krishna so that people can safely use it for transportation or recreation? Mm -hmm. uh, are you actively partnered with Safe Routes to School? Yes. Your, your Krishna community is a Safe Routes to School partner. How active they are, we don't know. So right. that's something mm -hmm. Colleen Pepper is willing to attend next month's meeting. Yeah. And um, so she can tell you how Safe Routes to School can help your community. And that could be a small doable project that you have visibility within your um, in the community. Mm -hmm. Say that you are active. You you're an established committee. You need more members, and um, and she can uh, assist you in coming up with some activity. Uh, she, they do audits of uh, walking and biking to school. So I, I don't know if that means they do um, like a survey. Survey parents. Things. Um, it's certain like a mile distance from school, are there any walkers, you know, how mm -hmm. many are there. So that would be an excellent resource. Uh, Safe Roots to School was um, very helpful with the project for the Woods School in Fairhaven mm -hmm. where they're having that um, shared use path. Mm -hmm. um, are, are you, I don't know, I don't know, have you taken advantage of any of the state's funding programs? So complete streets, shared streets, Spaces uh, Municipal Bridge Program. So uh, Complete Streets, I have that here to show you. This is the Complete Streets funding on mass.gov. So you can see um, the status of the program participant. So you can see if a Krishna is involved with Complete Streets. I believe you, you've applied, but it yeah, hasn't it gone that far. Right, that was, it was just the application, I believe, of uh, registered. Uh, 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 Registered. Yeah. Krishna. Yeah. Right, tier one. Krishna. So Krishna is a tier one. You've registered. Right. right. So you want to get to here this approved prior prioritization plan. So you can be instrumental in helping um, figure out what is your priority and get it on this plan mm -hmm. and sh um, share it with your select board and uh, Mr. Kelly. So how do you get to that? Um, how do you yeah, start? Like, yeah. no, how, how do you get from tier, tier one to? Uh, well, yeah. there's, there's probably a, a page here that tells you that. Um, okay. Yeah. So I know Serped has been helpful. Uh, Westport's going through the process right now, mm -hmm. and they're developing their prioritization plan. So most of these things, we would make recommendations, but it would go through like the planner or the selectmen or something like that, right? So we're, we're, we're sort of hopefully just coming up with ideas and, and recommendations. And advisory. And, right, right, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can help implement, you can mm -hmm. help uh, locate funding sources. Mm -hmm. So if Safe Routes to School has any grants or um, uh, Complete Streets, how that works is they allocate so, so much money to the communities through the Complete Streets program. I'm not well versed in that, but that's somewhat how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, Dartmouth has used Complete Streets to add you know, sidewalks and repave. Okay. We have a lot of homework, girls. <laughs> that just, that she's stolen out of here. <laughs> like putting it on my phone. There you go. Yeah. So if you wanted, I don't know how much longer you want to talk, but if you want to talk about Bike Month, um, Eric. Yeah. Eric well, has a proclamation. Uh, Mass Bike uh, yeah. organizes a, a Massachusetts Bike Month is May. Um, so we try to celebrate um, all things bicycling in the month of May. And they do have a calendar on their site, so if you want to look for events in your area or anywhere in the state that you want to attend, you can go to their site. Um, and I, after Eric speaks, I, I can tell you a couple of events that I know of that are happening in May in our area. Well, you go to this website and you see all the events mm -hmm. throughout Massachusetts, mm -hmm. through the state, and what they have. So they do have a lot of samples on there that we can we can download organize this kit to American bicyclists, uh, and this is 
this is a proclamation that we can we can put on our website or we can put on the town's website and and it's just like from Kevin Ga Gaspar mm -hmm. is a selectman mm -hmm. chairman chairperson so I just put his name in there and we can you know usually they get up and they read it right you're right the mayor or whatever uh, so this guy uh, Mr. Gaspar can he can we can put it on a website, mm -hmm. on the town's website, so people can read it, and it's for the month of May. So. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, that's something anyway. So this is you their know? mass bike site, and they did have a link to the calendar, so mm -hmm. um, that's March, we want to go to May. Can I, where's... Guess who's designing their bike month's t-shirt? Are you? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have so a meeting to ask you after, afterwards. Guys. I want to ask you about the Mount Poisset one. So this, these are Ooh, some, right of, the some of the events posted so far. Um, an MS ride, um, ride, the, ride the Vineyard, Tour de Cure. Yours is on there. Well, the beer and... Bikes and Beers. Yeah, that's on. Yeah. Hey, here it Bikes is. And beers. Farm Coast. Bikes and Beers Farm Coast is a new ride. It's a, it's a for-profit, but it does have two charity sponsors, partners. Mm -hmm. So uh, the South Coast Bikeway Alliance and Bus Bay Coalition are the charity partners this year. And this is the first time they've done one up in this area. And it's on um, Saturday, May 18th. And then the following weekend, uh, the following day, Sunday, May 19th. Let's see if it's on here. Let's hope. Oh, it's not on there. We need to get um, the Tour de Creme. Matapoisset Tour de Creme is, uh, is Sunday, May 19th. So I'm going to have to reach out to them and get their event posted here. Um, you can ride from Creamery to Creamery, raise money for the Matapoisset Rail Trail. That's your thing, right? Uh, South Coast? Likeway? No, it's it's one of our members, communities, oh. Mattapoisett, and then the Mattapoisett Land Trust. So mm -hmm. the, that's the benefit for the Mattapoisett Tour de Creme. Mm -hmm. And there's a nine mile option, mm -hmm. and then I believe 25 and 40 options. What about the one you had every year uh, from the YMC and Dartmouth? You still get doing that anymore? Uh, that's the South Coast Bikeway Alliance Pedal for the Path. That's our fundraiser ride. We skipped last year, um, but we've done five, and we had different routes and different venues, but it was very successful, and we hope to bring it back this year. We'll see. It's also a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll give this to the So to the, the, the question I have about that yeah. is that it, it the, the wording is that a cushion it will have events, and we don't have events. Well, no, but then it so, also says, uh, it says, uh, it one says, of the paragraphs, the end uh, of the paragraphs, we may not have events. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> on there. So, right, so I would it just make sure that, yeah, well, yeah, it says, throughout the month of May, the residents of Cushion and its visitors will experience the joys of bicycling through group rides, races, community events, mm -hmm. educational programs, charity events, and or by simply getting out and doing some, some right. going somewhere by bike. I just... Want to eliminate that? Well, I don't know if we need to eliminate or just say in, in the general area or something, because we don't have anything. So no. I, it feels... Right. False. It feels like we're already we're putting something out that we don't part really, really know. Really what and is it? The last part, the last this one? part, and, and or by simply getting out and going somewhere by bus. Or simply be getting just, out. Yeah, that I mean. kind of covers it. Okay. So. Okay. What did the girls think? Would, no, I, you know, I, I, I always, I, I read that myself, I, but then I saw that underneath. Yes. But I know we can't, what are we going to do? We're not going to do something. We're not going to do So I just, problem. I love the idea of putting something out there. I just don't want us to already be putting things out that we're not able to fulfill. fulfill. Yes. Because then we, you know, right, yeah. right out the gate, we've got a poor I, reputation yeah. of not doing what we're saying. We're well, I can, do. I can so I eliminate that but, paragraph. Well, I don't, I don't know that it needs to be eliminated, just if we, tweaked it a little bit to say, mm -hmm. you know, 
and here, here's a link to the logo or something like that to include the mat of poison by all of those. Like, yeah. But these are the area of rides that a cushion it, you know, residents will be participating oh, in okay. versus okay. Right. this is what we're I'll doing. Do that. Right. Why don't we, just, we, we could just skip, we could just do this. We're out throughout yeah. the main yeah. residents yeah. of the cushion yeah. experience. Words are important. <laughs> yeah, well, the man of poison <laughs> one. Uh, right, there's a, I mean, the, there's a few, yeah. right. The budget bay one yeah. coming up. Yeah. 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 There'll be more. There'll be more. Be more and, and, you know. mm -hmm. uh, the Fraser Liverpool Streets Committee will certainly have a May ride, I'm right. sure. Right. Um, right. And he should post this on here as well. I don't know if he, let's see if he posted um, April's. Just get rid of here to here. Yeah, okay. Uh, one. Yeah, it's very The joys of bicycling by simply getting out and going somewhere. My bike, and then. Whereas the bike, yeah. Yeah. See what he does. Check that out. That makes it. Mm -hmm. it's not me. Yeah, you support bicycling. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. It doesn't say yeah, just a, something for, uh, we can put right. on. Right. No, yeah. I, I no, have an idea. I no, just want to make sure that yeah. we're, yeah. That's good. Yeah. We'll eliminate that one. Cool. Right. Yep. <laughs> uh, April 6th is not listed there, so I'll have to get Mr. Gardner over in the Fairhaven Liberal <laughs> Streets to put his event on there. Mass Bike actually asked um, him to do so. I asked me to ask him to do so. so. I'll have to remind him to do that. Um, but yeah, there will be plenty of opportunity. You can go explore other communities that have safer biking right. than you do. Right. Um, and walking. We can't forget walking. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Running. Yes. <laughs> right. right. You don't have a retired rail bed, so you won't no. have something like the Fairhaven right. Phoenix Rail Trail right. or the right. Boise Rail Trail. But you could have a protected bicycle and pedestrian pathway through your town. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I feel like once we sort of work through this first bit of work we need to work on and identify, like I keep going back to middle, right, to middle, to middle, because it's, it's probably yeah, yeah. a... Well, that's um, the school is on middle road. This, so right, but the school is there, and it's, a, it's, a, the it's a already a wide <laughs> yeah, road so to begin with, with. Mm -hmm. so it feels easier and I know it's not really easy but it feels like it's something that we could start to work on once mm -hmm. we get this stuff sort of kinked yeah. out then we could talk about what would that look like what would it mean mm -hmm. you know what other ideas are out there yeah. you know that type of thing and yeah. go from there mm -hmm. yeah. yeah people are um, they need a they need to be comfortable yeah they need to feel safe they won't ride safe. their bike on Middle Road if they're not comfortable. But if they had a shared use path on one side of Middle Road, Good. how many people would With walk and bike it daily oh God, safely? Yep. Yep. Um, and whether they you know, are going uh, somewhere or just getting out for exercise, but they connect yep. to the library and the school and, and mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Right, because there's no sidewalk the whole length of it, because yeah. I run here. There's a crosswalk to nothing. To nothing. Yeah. I, oh, after last month, I looked at, and I was like, that is so odd, because it just kind of goes to nothing. And it, but um, it's a safe spot. It's not at the intersection. It's right. The visibility is good. Right. But wouldn't but it, it be goes great to if it had a, wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't it be great <laughs> if it had a <laughs> shared <laughs> use path on one side? Right. right. But right. They Absolutely. Park, but they park their cars. Right. Along that along road. The so if you're riding on a bicycle, and you're not looking up, yep. Watching where you're going, right up the street over here, yep. so, there's something, there must be a shop over there or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds yeah, of things. I have a friend that lives over there and they're constantly making comments about whoever that person is that takes, like they just park up the whole they, street. They, uh, yeah, they must have a machine shop in there something. or something. And yeah. Yeah. If you're not watching where you're going, those guys <laughs> come up to you very quickly. Right, right. Yep. Well, okay. well that was great. Okay. All right, very good, girls. I think we covered it. Covered Kevin, it we're going. Boys, we're doing <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what did we say now? I, meeting is adjourned. I called call to meeting. adjourn the meeting. Right, yeah. Second, Make a motion we adjourn. Yep. Yeah, there we Second, go. third. All right. All, All right. Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs>